James Clerk Maxwell was born November 13, 1831, and died November 5, 1879. Mr. Maxwell was not always a boring physicist and scientist and mathematician. At, when he was young, he would put a washpin in a pond and row it away from his tutors so he wouldn't have to learn things. At an early age, Maxwell discovered that he was very interested in the world around him. He would play with mirrors so he could see how it reacted with sunlight. When he was young, he was able to recite and memorize things that adults couldn't even recite and memorize. As James Maxwell got older, he became more interested in science and math. His first published work was when he was 14, and it was on the subject of ellipses. At the age of 16, he graduated from his academy and started enrolling in the University of Edinburgh. Mr. Maxwell made many contributions to modern physics. His most famous contribution being his work with electromagnetics. He came up with a few math equations to express behaviors of electrical and magnetic field and the relationship between the two. Meaning an oscillating or fluctuating electric charge produces an electromagnetic field. He discovered that electromagnetic rays traveled at the speed of light. He was also interested in other fields such as the classification of colors and colorblindness. He discovered that colorblindness is caused by one of three absent sensations in the retina. He also denoted colors in terms of four variables. Those variables are known as hue, intensity, brightness, and tint. You might see them when you accidentally press the menu button on your TV. He contributed to astronomy by saying that Saturn's rings are made up of particles instead of one solid ring. He published on the stability of the motion of Saturn's ring in order to help other people understand his theory. At Aberdeen University, he was an odd professor who fell asleep in class and then would randomly wake up to teach. He taught really fast, so anyone who couldn't understand him was kind of lost. He eventually married the head of the university's daughter. His wife was very supportive of all of his studies and would sometimes help him out in the lab anytime he needed a hand. An odd fact about James Clerk Maxwell was that he wrote poems. These poems weren't about normal things like you think of. He wrote math and science poems about mathematical equations and scientific processes. Because of Mr. James Clerk Maxwell, we have so much more technology than we would have ever imagined. We have TVs, computers, electronics, anything with a circuit, a microwave. Because of him, we have all this, and that helps us through everyday life.